Or the oh, simulation of cheesecake factory. Um, this is true. Um, in Bellevue Hospital, El Tony, in no burial for him at Woodlawn Cemetery, as we request a great fellow stand up Jewish man who always did the right thing, David Lloyd, who invited to stay at him with well, his Riverside unit, what's now the Trump Tower 1 unit, 1701, and cooked for the young man and meat loaves with vegetables and baked potatoes and juice and apple pie for dessert. We brought the latest style of Barney's, four outfits, not three outfits from Barney's, and two pairs of sneakers, which he passed. He left the city bank account for $97,991.32 and a savings account of $97.1 million. This gentleman assumed he was the rightful owner of these monies. He moved out immediately and, and purchased a townhome in Lenox Hill on 64th Street between Madison and Lexington for $17.4 million and rented the Riverside unit to a 72-year-old gay man just retired and moved from San Diego, Briscoe, California, a gay lifelong de Democrat for twelve fifty dollars a month who just passed away on July 7, 2023, of a cardiac arrest in Mount Sinai, West at 727 a.m. at age 97. Today, the owner of Cheesecake Factory lives on 117 East 64th Street. Good boy. East 64th Street, his parents are alive. They lived in Cranford, New Jersey for 17 years in Union County, 117 Stringfield Avenue, alone in a lovely four bedroom home. Mr. David and Mrs. Betty, age 91 and 92. His brother married for 27 years, age 64, with a 27 year old daughter and a 22 year old same sex servant in Mill, live in Strasburg, Pennsylvania, and 17 Savage Street. The 22 year old works as a waiter in Texas Row House. His brother still works as a Car his father, I mean, your brother still works as a car salesman at the Mute, um, Newton Audi dealership for 17 years in Newton, um, in New Jersey, of Bernard is his name. His sister today, 71 years old, lives in Penn Estates, East Strasburg, Pennsylvania. Two boys, except 27 year old, same sex or rented male, lives at home, works at the Tannisville Outlets at the Ralph Lawrence store, and a 25 year old straight male who works at the TV section in Best Buy, best friends with the Far Farrelly. Um, nephew, well, the owner of Farrelly's nephew, that's co workers. The owner of Cheesecake Factory's real name is Charles Beck, C H A R L E S B P C K. And then we have Dave and Busters, which opened first in December 2004 in Pasadena, California. A total, one of my total favorites. I ordered the most expensive thing in the menu with extra add ons. The owner, a 67 year old gay male from Pensacola, Florida, the only child from his parents, the Florida Orange, ran away at 17 years old. Because he was different to me, he came to New York City with seventy-four dollars and eleven cents on December nineteen sixty-seven. He was a homeless for twelve days in New York Penn Station. A same-sex couple, age sixty-seven and seventy-two, noticed him and immediately offered him a place to stay. A seventeen-year-old, a warm place to stay in a four-bedroom unit in Tribeca, and cooked for him on his first night. The sixty-seven-year-old prepared homely lasagna and bread and soda and shared with him. To um, share him um, and, and showed him to a spacious room with wa a waterway view of New Jersey and a queen size bed and his own personal TV and new clothes and a towel and a way to his own personal bathroom. The couple, the 67 year old named Dilbert Richards, a pediatrician at Bellevue Hospital, passed on December 6, 1987, of a cardiac arrest at 7 27 p.m. at home. And the 17 year old passed away on September 1st, 1994, of pancreatic can cancer at Bellevue Hospital at 12 27 p.m. He left the city bank account with a checking account of $1,771.32 and a savings account of $72.4 million. Both were lifelong Republicans. He immediately, and this one is a lifelong Democrat, he immediately moved out and purchased a two bedroom unit for $750,000 on, on Bleecker Street. In, in, in the west side of Dickersville, still lives there today. In a top unit, he now rents their Tribeca apartment to a, a, a uh, to a forty-seven-year-old gay, lifelong Democrat male for a thousand four hundred fifty dollars a month since February two thousand one from Mississippi. A customer service representative for Bank of America in the Upper West Side. Um, his parents are still alive today. They are healthy at ninety-one and ninety-two years old. Mr. Frank and Mrs. Rebecca, residents of Westfield, New Jersey, for twenty-seven years. They have been under the, the, under under your radar, under your nose for so long. Your loving parents, they will be so happy to know you're alive. Hopefully, the feeling is mutual. Your father is a, was a real, was a real estate broker for the local Coldwell Frank banker in Westfield for twenty-seven years, and your mom worked in the women's jewelry department at the former local Norton Taylor for twenty-seven years. I have seen your mom 70, 47, 47, 47 times, spoken to her seven times. Your dad twenty-seven times, spoken to him twice. Your name is Andrew Roberts. Hopefully, you will be a prime example as well to the gay community today.